Vermont Junior Drag for My name is Bill. If you haven't learned about it yet, go ahead and check out check us out at Junior Dragster Plus. Uh, that'll be you know I'll add a link at the uh, bottom of this uh, video here. And my name is uh, my username on the board is Wild Bill. Go ahead, ask it all the questions you want. There are no silly questions, just, you know, we've heard it all before, and we've all been there before, so go ahead, give us a shout out, and check us out, and we'll be more, we'll all be more than happy to help you. Now, on to the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Learning Junior Dragster video, my name is Bill. Today's video should be a pretty quick one, uh, I'm just going to show you how to go through and, uh, Rebuild your standard Walboro Square fuel pump. So let's get right to it. I'll move the video camera over here so uh, you guys can get a close up as usual and we'll go through it step by step. Alright, we've got our fuel pump here. First thing we're going to want to make, sh make sure we do, just put a couple marks so that we get everything back lined up properly and take a sharpie. Using a sharpie because you know it's easy to wipe off after we're done. We'll just put them, you know, a couple of alignment marks here, and a little dot here and here. That's where our two longer screws go. And you can see, then we got. Uh, if you follow the, uh, you know, the the sides actually have, you know, a sharp edge, and then a rounded edge on one side. But as you can see, the orientation of the vacuum port here on the bottom, those don't all line up. You know, you got the rounded edge here aligned with the pointed edge because we're pulling the vacuum from behind and the travel of the fuel actually goes this way. So if you were to line everything up, you'd have your vacuum line looping all the way around. So the next thing we're going to do is take all these screws out. 5 sixteenths, I'm using a ratcheting wrench. You can use a uh, regular wrench, nut driver socket. And as you can see, these aren't real tight. You know, just tight enough to keep everything from leaking. I'll do my best here to try and keep everything in frame. Alright, we got all our screws out. I'm going to take our top cover off. Note which way the uh, gasket is going. You get the, you know, kind of stuck together. This is actually a separate gasket and diaphragm. So we'll place that over to the side. Before we go any further, let's see. We can get a good L Walboro fuel pump rebuild kit. There's the part number. Let's go ahead and get that opened up. Make sure you don't, when you open the bag, don't cut into the gaskets. Get our diaphragms, our gaskets, and our check valves. Not sure quite what this is for. Um, I don't see them anywhere in the fuel pump, so maybe that's for something else. Take our bottom off. Here you can see we have the uh, 
plunger in the spring, return spring. This is what actually uh, creates the pumping action on the uh, diaphragm. And you can see here we got our diaphragm and our bottom gasket. And that's a little, you can tell that's a little stiff. Could be one reason why this fuel pump wasn't working. This gets stiff and it can't actually uh, create the siphon action to pump the fuel. Another reason these fuel pumps go bad is these uh, check valves in here, they get deteriorated, dry rotted. I've actually seen them crumble apart when you pull them out. You just go ahead and uh, pinch them off. Pull them out and uh, yeah, see that one just came apart all together. And see we've still got a little bit of uh, stuff in there. A little straw from uh, you know, a can of brake cleaner or something, push that right out. All right, make, sure, make note you actually put these uh, one-way check valves in the right way. As you can see, we got a raised portion here and then a nice flat smooth area here. Well, the nice flat smooth area is what actually does the, uh, does the ceiling. And don't, don't cut off that extra length above that little... Uh, nipple and try not to wipe any of this powder off because the powder that's on there actually acts as a lubricant to help you just take that uh, and then you can see that raised area that allows you to pull that through so that little nipple there locks in and then once you get it through then you go ahead and cut off the extra. Now we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing for the other one, making sure we got it the right way. Yep, everything looks good. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull that through until feel it pop in. Oh, broke off. Doesn't look like it's all the way through yet. Do a little wiggle, make sure it's up in there. Alright, now we're up in there. Now we can go ahead and try and cut the rest of this off. Hopefully without cutting my fingers. How about that? No blood even. Alright. Now we're ready to go ahead and put this back together. Making sure that, uh, as you can see we got a circle area here and then a crossbar here. This is the bottom of the pump, goes down against the uh, spring in the diaphragm. So we'll put our uh, uh, probably easier to put them on, probably easier to line them up and put them on here in the actual pump mechanism because that's where the little uh, studs for lining everything up are. So get that on the little alignment studs. Now I like to kind of just pinch it in between my fingers because if you, if you rock this uh, bottom part you know, you can knock the uh, plunger off the spring. Now let's go ahead and find our uh, alignment marks. There's that one. We got our alignment mark facing that way. Tell me I rubbed it off. Yeah, it's just wonderful.
No, nope, there it is. Alright, so we got... Our gasket held in place. Place it right down over top. Make sure those alignment tabs lock in. Now we'll take upper gasket. Upper diaphragm. I got that right. No, the diaphragm goes down first, and then the gasket goes down. No, now I'm confusing myself. Yeah. That's right. Diaphragm goes down first against the check valves, and then the gasket goes on. Oh. We go ahead and put our cover plate back on. And find our marks for the two long mounting screws. Put those back in. And the two short. Remember what I said, don't tighten these down too tight, you're liable to strip, strip the uh, plastic. <clears throat> Just go ahead and snug them all down. And there we have it. Now we can go ahead and wipe off... Uh, Wipe up all the Sharpie markers. Alright, there we have it. A quick uh, down and dirty, real short tutorial on uh, how you rebuild your Walboro square fuel pump. Hope you guys found this video lesson helpful. If you haven't checked it out already, check out JuniorDragsterPlus.com. We'd love to have you there, and until next time, we'll see you later.